Morning people, uh, out in the woods, uh, very cold morning, although as you can see behind me, or possibly see behind me, the sun is doing its best to come up uh, and burn this mist and fog off. Um, come out today uh, to play around again with my uh, Polish larva. Now, I used it for a, a couple of weekends uh, during the winter. Uh, last year, it was about 2015, and I quite liked using it. My only problem was, as I did, I've, as I've said many, many times, I still, I just believe it's just slightly too small, even for a short-ass git like me. Now, I mean, I'm only five eight and a half. I, I still find it slightly small for me to lay down in uh, without sort of looking at the canvas and my feet touching the other side. So uh, I've tried other me I've tried methods like suspending it from a ridge pole, uh, sorry, suspending it from a ridge line, um, and that does seem to work a little bit. Uh, but um, I've been thinking of, for a while now of maybe another way of doing it is, um, I mean, I considered adding extra material to the bottom to make like a bell tent type thing, but. You know, to be quite honest, that's a that's a hell of a lot of work. Um, and I was talking to uh, Mac Mac Tightwad uh, about this, and uh, and said to him, I said, you know what? I said, I said you can you can actually buy uh, like a half larvae um, for around about a tenner. I said it might be worth investing in one of those and just adding it to it, just to see if it gives you that little bit extra space. So he said, well. I've got a larva I'm not using. He said, why don't you use mine? So, hence the reason why I'm out today. Uh, I brought Max larva with me and uh, I'm gonna play around with sort of like putting, trying to put up three sections. I have seen it done before. Um, I think um, a channel going by the name of uh, Chainlink Couriers done it about eight, nine months ago. Uh, but he just used it as a porch. Um, so, but I'm gonna tr I'm gonna set it up and see if I can actually sort of like make it um, maybe a, maybe elongate the lava a little bit and just see what see what we can do and see if we can make it a, a bit of a better living accommodation. So uh, I'll bring you back in a little while and we'll give it a go. Sure sign it's cold. The battery's dying like a good one. Um, right, I pegged out the lava. As I would normally do, as you can see, I've slung it from a, uh, a ridge line, uh, and it looks a little bit lower than uh, because I've, I've really tried to stretch it out. But obviously, the, the sheer design of it will only allow you to go so far. Um, and what I've done is I've actually attached the third part. Now I don't think I can pull that out any further. Um, Purely because of the, uh, like the, the the angle, the way that the material has been cut, which leaves quite a quite a bit on the front. But it does, as you can see, give you probably an extra four feet width. Now what I'm going to do is I've got some walking poles with me, so I'm going to set that up as some sort of porch uh, and try and do it so that um, during the day you've got a porch area. Um, and at night you can you can hopefully just close it down nice and nice and tight um, you know for uh, warmth and security um, if I do keep this idea obviously I'm gonna have to do something with the top there uh, because the other two halves will go through um, I'll put eyelets in the top uh, and pass a bit of cordage through them so obviously the the top of the new part is not attached to that so if we like it I'll put a, um, I'll do something with that so that that will be attached uh, to the uh, the rest of the, the the tent. So that will be pulled up on the ridge line as well. So that will then stop any uh, ingress of any water from the top there. Um, but uh, I'll play around with the uh, with this porch idea because I, I must admit, I mean. When I go camping, I do like to have the. I mean, that's the why I, I tend to use a tarp most of the time because, you know, I like to have some fresh air coming in. 
Uh, so I do like the uh, it to be open. I don't really like being enclosed. Uh, so so maybe for me, uh, the porch would be a good idea. Um, I have set the the ordinary lava up with one of the uh, the sides up before, which I think you've probably seen. Um, but this extra piece um, sort of gives you that porch, and it also enables you to close it down uh, if the you know it gets really windy or it gets really bad weather. So uh, I'll bring you back in a little while, and we'll play around with the uh, with the idea of a porch. Right, this is what I've. Uh, sort of come up with um, I'm hoping that when that centerpiece is actually attached to the uh, the cordage that's attached to the ridge line that's going to pull that in a little bit tighter because uh, at the moment there's nothing really pulling that in tight at the top um, but if we walk if we walk around we've got now we've got a porch area uh, reasonable size entrance um, which you know you could leave open or if you if it was really bad that could be just dropped down um, the poles could just be uh, dropped down and uh, so that would uh, close that all up for you and it does give you probably an extra five feet that way going across um, not perfect not perfect by any means um, but uh, it's just another option I mean that, that's that's three halves which each half is around about what a tenner so for 30 quid you've got yourself quite a good uh, reasonable uh, shelter um, base camp shelter only I would have thought because as everyone knows, the Polish larvus are quite heavy, um, and you've just added another uh, another half to it, so it makes it even heavier. But um, yeah, I, I mean, I'd, for base camping, yes, I think I'd use it. Um, I have got a a weekend coming up uh, fairly shortly. Uh, I don't know whether I'm going to make it or not, but uh, if uh, if I can make it at one of our Suffolk mates, uh, I might give it a go and see how we get on. Um, but I think that would be, it's more than adequate. Looks a bit cumbersome, I must admit. But, uh, yeah. Okay, well, I'll get a, I'm just going to throw a ground sheet down inside there and then, uh, I'll take you in. It might be a bit dark in there, as you know. Polish larvae are very dark, uh, but uh, I'll try and show you sort of how much space that we've now got inside. Um, so uh, I'll bring you back in a little while. Right, there you are. Well, I'm laying down. I've laid out a six-foot ground sheet in here, and to be honest, right, I have got really quite a lot of room now. Before when I put this up, I've had this. Right, almost sort of down here, touching, almost touching my face, uh, which you know I certainly don't like in single skin tents or single skin shelters to be anywhere near uh, the outside because if it is raining, then you you know the water's just going to come straight through. Um, but my room, my my feet are not really touching. Um, well, they're just about touching, although I could probably move up a little bit. Uh, I think you'd have to be, certainly would be ground drilling. You wouldn't get a, probably wouldn't get a bed in here. But, yeah, you've got, yeah, we've got vents here. So, you yeah, know, so you'd get a stove with no problems in here. Um, yeah, and I would probably leave it up like that. Because as long as you sighted it uh, correctly to have the wind coming from uh, behind us, uh, the rain would almost have to be vertical uh, to get in in there. Um, yeah, so there's there's plenty of room, plenty of room. Um, and I've, if we pull that, if we pull that tight, so that that's like 
it's going to be attached to the uh, that's now pulling that top piece fairly tight so uh, yeah I think that certainly way will work um, as I say I don't really think I'd want to pull that down and now we've got as I say there's loads of room for kit I'm laying across the middle where the pole would be uh, so that means sort of I'm, I'm using maximum space in here but there's plenty of room for to lay out your kit and no problems I don't know if you can see all of this because it, it's got to be pretty dark in here uh, so right it's just another mod for a Polish lava uh, extra cost a tenner plus postage for the extra piece so uh, yeah it, it could be worth considering obviously before anyone says anything I know I haven't done the the armholes up uh, so you know there's a there's a bit of extra work uh, needed to do before I would uh, use it per, you know permanently like this and obviously sort of I need to do something uh, with that because no one wants a gaping hole in their tent like that so uh, anyway it's just another idea gents and ladies uh, for those people that like to persevere with the Polish lava it's just another method of erecting so uh, right well we'll crawl out I think it's about time I had a cup of tea bring you back in a little while well, there we go, people. Uh, as I say, just another idea. Um, you may like it, you may not. Uh, it does give you a little bit more room um, inside. As I say, there's a couple little things I need to, if I'm going to do it, I need to do something about the, uh, the armholes um, on both sides. Uh, and also the the top piece there, but I think they're they're easy things to do. Uh, other than that, as I say, the uh, the lava has never let me down. I mean, to be fair, I've never really had it out in really bad weather, so so I'm not really sure uh, how waterproof it is. And a, a couple of times, because I have got the uh, the ridge line there so I've got a bit of an admin area I in front of it I have slung a tarp over the top of that uh, to give me an admin area at the front so, um, so I suppose in a way it still remains really untested but as I say it's you know these things evolve you know you like you know we all like playing with bits of kit we all like trying to make things better uh, and it's just an idea. So, uh, thanks for watching people, and uh, I'll catch you again soon. Well, well that's, uh, like I said, that's the Polish Slavu. Just an extra little mod. Um, like I said, I think it'll work. It certainly does give you a lot more room inside. Um, and the entrance is large enough for you, to you to to get in and out without having to sort of well for us old people let's put it that way it makes it it's a bit easier so uh so that's not too bad so i've just set me uh just set me hammock chair up and just gonna have a cup of tea take it down um, I'm not staying too late. I've got, unfortunately, I've got things to do today. But I just want you to get out uh, and get this up and just just try it out. So, uh, so I have brought a, I have brought a stove with me to make myself a cup of tea. But uh, with these flasks, I just made this at home, and uh, I should probably just have this. And uh, you know, I tried something for the first time in the week. Um, we had a we had a big loaf of stale bread. Well, it was going stale. Uh, no one had used it. So uh, I really used to love uh, bread pudding. And uh, 
my mother used to make it, but my wife, being from uh, Yorkshire, hasn't got a clue how to make bread pudding, and she don't like it either. So I made myself some, and uh, here's the result. And I tell you what, that's a be it's, it's actually beautiful. I just dare I say myself, as I made it myself, but uh, it is very nice. So uh, I'm going to tuck into a bit of this. That's nice. I'd like to do a couple of uh, shout outs. Um, just lately I've steered away from doing sort of the VRs uh, and what have you. Because um, to, to be to be honest with you, right, I've got loads of bit, bits of kit, and yeah, we all like we all like it, new kit and all like bits and pieces. But I'd sooner give someone else a chance to to win those bits. You know, I've done quite, I've been quite lucky over the past year. I've won a couple of knives, um, and that various little bits and pieces, and uh, a few people giving me gifts, which I've been more than grateful for. And, uh, but I still think we need to support other people. Uh, so, really and truly, I've, I've, like I said, I'm steering away from uh, video responses, but I'm going more for the SV, a, um, a support video. And uh, there's just a couple of people that I'd like to uh, uh, send my support to. Um, one, is Vic, uh, Welsh prepper. Congratulations, Vic, on your uh, 700 subs. Well, it's uh, m very well deserved, my friend. Uh, like I said, I, I don't want you to. I, I don't want to enter your competition. That's uh, not because I'm, I don't want to show you any support, but uh, I like to give other people chances to uh, to win these prizes. And uh, so, uh, if you don't already fo follow uh, Welsh prepper, uh, the link as normal will be below uh, give them a check out and if you like what you see uh, give him uh, give him your support as well uh, the other one is a good friend of mine um, Michael the bearded clam now he was pushing it all out just before Christmas asking everybody on Facebook uh, he only had a few more subs left to do to get to the 500 well, his pleading and begging has uh, has, uh, has brought born fruit, uh, and I noticed the other day that uh, he's top 500. So, uh, well done, Mike. Uh, again, it's uh, well deserved, mate. Um, I don't I don't think you've got a uh, a video up yet. Um, uh, if you're going to do a giveaway video, I really don't know. But um, once again, mate, I I probably you know I won't be entering, but I certainly do want to show you my support. Uh, so, uh, if you don't already follow um, Mike the Beardy Clan, oh, Clam, sorry, then uh, do so. Again, the link will be below. So, uh, two great guys, Vic Welsh Prepper and uh, Mike the Beardy Clan. Congrats on the subs, lads, and uh, hope to uh, hope we can meet up in the uh, you know in the year. Uh, on a personal note, yeah, I don't really know what's happening this year, really. Um, my work situation, uh, as I've uh, recorded over the past six months, uh, hasn't really changed. Uh, and uh, if anything, it's got worse. So, um, so I really don't know what will be happening. Uh, there are a few things in the pipeline which I'd sooner not talk about, but. Uh, you know, things will come clear as the year goes on um, but you know I certainly won't be uh, stopping doing this um, probably some of the things that will happen I'll probably do this a lot more uh, so there may be times when um, you know I'm I'm not I might not I may seem to uh, disappear for a while but uh, I'm certainly not gone 
So, uh, anyway, it's what is it today? The uh, the fourth or the fifth of January? Do you know? I don't know. It's the fourth of January today. So, I'd like to wish everyone uh, a really happy New Year, um, and hope everyone has a prosperous New Year, and they get things done. I don't believe in New Year's resolutions because we all break them. So, what's the point in making one? But let's hope everyone gets to do what they would like to do, um, and generally uh, have a good time in 2015. So. Uh, Cheers people and uh, see you soon.